to come chat with you guys real quick about the game. Um, we beat a team in OKC that's, I mean, obviously extremely good. Um, you know, these guys had their players available. All of that didn't matter. We still come out with a victory. I mentioned in the last video that we uh, will beat the teams going forward that we should beat. And what I meant by that is some of those lesser teams in the schedule. Um, Y'all know what I mean. Y'all should know what I mean. It's, you know, it's kind of hard to say, hey, with the record that we have, oh, we're going to beat the teams we should beat. You know what I mean. Uh, it's the teams that we expected to beat going into the season uh, before we start the season with four of our main guys out. Those type of teams. So that's what I meant by that. Uh, boy, the comments in my last video, good Lord. Uh, I, I shouldn't have to speak in ABC terms for people. <laughs> um, obviously, uh, OKC being a, a really, really, really good team, we took care of business against them today. And um, why is that? Why is that? Well, first and foremost, you have a team that's, I mean, at 98% right now. <laughs> uh, K was a late scratch today. They're trying to manage that knee and make sure nothing funky happens. Um, you know, which is a smart thing to do, in, especially in this type of season. But number uh, number two is the fact that you made some solid trades. You add, you added some guys that add some work to this team, but at the same time, guys are back. Uh, guys are back. Um, the team is gaining chemistry. Uh, they're starting to un understand each other out there. A lot of the results of some of the things you did early in the season, which a lot of people couldn't figure out, um, you know, are definitely showing itself right now. One being where I, I, you know, I truly uh, believed it when I said it several times. Jay Nivey, uh, what Monty Williams was doing with Jay Nivey, you see the results of it now. Uh, Jay Nivey is, is literally giving it all on both sides of the basketball court. Both sides of the basketball court. It's not just, you know, all motor on the, the offensive side and then lackadaisical D on the defense. No, both sides of the of the basketball court with, I mean, extreme effort. <laughs> um, loose balls, whatever it, it got to be. This, 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 this young man was giving it everything. <laughs> everything out there today, man. And it helped her propel this team to a win today. Um, also, Jalen Duran out there, I mean, took that matchup and abused it um you know chet holgren being a seven foot plus guy but you know a guy that's not even 200 pounds uh <laughs> jalen duran was bullying him a little bit today so that was um that was definitely something that the pistons needed that paint presence today if you want to beat a team at okay so you can't let guys like chet just you know cross guys over and get to the to basket like he's a guard or sit out there on the three-point line and just shoot wide open shots Pistons weren't giving that him and Isaiah Stewart definitely did a good job against him today so um but everybody contributed their parts today as usual whether it's scoring whether it's assists whether it's defense um the the togetherness the Pistons basketball you know that we were talking about before this season that's what we've seen to the uh these last what six or seven games now um and it's gonna help them win a, a lot of more games uh this season on in the second half of the season where the schedule tends to light up a little bit more when you look at it compared to what it's been in the first half of the season not saying they're about to go win like 35 games <laughs> but it's not going to be 10 game losing streaks in between and Things like that. I think we're past that point. Um, we got the trade deadline coming up. We might just end up making another move, which, you know, adds even more. And even if we don't, the roster that we have right now is good enough to be competitive and beat teams. Uh, they've they've shown you that over these last seven, six or seven games. So, um, you know, this season right now is about competing. It's it's so. It's, it's, <laughs> I can't even explain how late of a start it is, but it's about competing with these these young guys, man. Um, you added some better veterans, and you know the development of K, Ivy, Duran, and Asar. That's your core. 
the development of those guys are what you, your your interest should be. You know, we turned down a few trades simply because of a lot of people trying to trade into our core, which is, you know, you've seen DeJounte Murray offered for Ivy and Asar. Um, and the Pistons said no. So the Pistons are, I believe, during this trade deadline, if the, you know, the only moves that I'm looking um, at Troy Weaver probably making is maybe somebody like Boyana Burks, if, if either of those two, because, you know, Boyan has definitely expressed that he's uh, interested in staying here. So I think he wants to be around. Um, but, you know, like I said, if the right team makes an offer, we all know that guys like him and Burks are probably going to end up getting moved at the trade deadline. So um, rather whoever goes or stays, I just want the product on the court to play hard every night and play together and play for each other. That's all I was asking for this season. I was asking for some type of crazy positioning or a playoff win. That's not what I was asking for this season. I was asking for a competitive, uh, you know, a competitive effort every night from this team, and and you know the growth and the development. So um, I think that's where we're getting ready to head into for the rest of the season with this team. Um, obviously, much more to talk about because of that now. So that's why you're seeing my face now. <laughs> I don't have to sound like a broken record. I, I actually have things I can talk about, man. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely relieving to see them get a win today, big time. So, yeah, with that said, man, leave it in the comment section, man. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about today's game, the effort that you've seen out there, especially from Ivy, man. Ivy definitely got the game ball today. That boy was definitely, um, you know, doing a little bit of everything out there. And, uh, man, we'll talk in the comment section. With that said, I'll catch you guys in the next video.